Go on, go on next here. Jesus heals Peter's mother-in-law sick with a fever. All right. And that's out of Matthew, Mark, and Luke, those three Gospels. Jesus touched Peter's mother-in-law's hand, and the fever left her. Jesus had faith that he could lay hands on the sick and see them recover. That's the faith and the authority that he had with his father. Luke's account also recalls that Jesus rebuked the fever. He renounced it. Jesus had the faith that he had authority over the fever, fever just like his father. Okay, Jairus, uh, Jesus raises Jairus' daughter from the dead. Jairus had faith that when Jesus laid his hands on his daughter, she would live. Even when someone from Jairus' house came and told him that the girl had died, he focused his attention on Jesus' words, Do not fear. Only believe, and she will be made well. He had faith in those words and saw what he was believing. That's beautiful. And our next testimony, a scriptural testimony to get us in the spirit, Jesus healed all who were sick at sunset, out of Matthew, Mark, and Luke's Gospels. No matter what their diseases were, the touch of his hand healed everyone. Fulfilling what was spoken in Isaiah 53.4, that Jesus would bear our physical sicknesses and pains, Jesus took the words in Isaiah and believed them about himself. Jesus got his identity and his faith from the word of God. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Ask and you shall receive. You know, Jesus had the authority, the mandate, and the commission, and he used it. Jesus heals a boy with an unclean spirit out of Matthew, Mark, and Luke's Gospels. In this recording, the boy's father has faith for the healing of his son. But after Jesus' disciples couldn't cast the demon out, I imagine that his hopes were somewhat dashed. When Jesus arrives on the scene, he makes a statement to the father that provokes faith to come alive inside him again. Jesus said, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Mark 9, 23. The disciples weren't able to drive that demon out, but Jesus said to them, this can only come through prayer. So Jesus had, had to pray to his father to remove that demon. And one of the most beautiful scripture he healing testimonies was raising Lazarus from the dead in Bethany out of John's gospel. This is a powerful recording of the resurrection of Lazarus. Jesus was operating in great faith and spoke that he could awaken Lazarus from his sleep. Faith, faith speaks what it believes. Mary and Martha had faith, even if it was a little shaky at that time. Jesus spoke things to them that would encourage them to strengthen their faith. And us too, right? He tells us that mustard, that tiny mustard seed is all we need. And we can grow that. And he gives us the way.